Whenever life gets you down, keeps you wearing a frown, and the gravy train has left you behind. And when you're all out of hope, down at the end of your rope, and nobody's there to throw you a line. If you ever get so low that you don't know which way to go, come on and take a walk in my shoes. Never worry about a thing, got the world on a string, cause I've got the cure for all of my blues. Of his blues. I take a look at my enormous penis, and my troubles start a melting away. I take a look at my enormous penis. Salutations, horny lovers, cloppers, and fappers. I am TTCCD, and I welcome you to the display of passion comic dub behind the scenes. Let's not waste any time and slide right into the pleasure dimension. Created by Alcor, the display of passion comic tells a story of Twilight Sparkle, a fourth equestrian princess who recently started going into heat. After many, many failed attempts to scratch away the itch deep inside her aching folds with toys, her friends, and other princesses, she gets help from her new human friend Anon from another world to fuck away her seven-year itch. Once Twilight said something along the lines of Yeah, 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 you fucking with some wet ass pussy. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass pussy. Give me everything you got for this wet ass pussy. Anon sprung into action. He pulled out his big fat list and his big fat cock and plunged deep inside her depths until the cozy afterglow. And so this legendary tale was written in the pages of this comic, available for only $25 on Alcor's site. Link in the description. Sometime during summer of 2020, when I saw my friend's reaction to the physical copy of Alcor's Display of Passion. This is awakening something in me that I have never known existed. I have mad respect for these art skills. This is quite the piece of literature. Oh! You have excellent taste. I mean, I can't imagine it tastes very good. Tastes like this. <laughs> An idea lit up in my head. What if I dubbed the biggest, the juiciest MLP comic? I have editing programs, and people love comic dubs in this fandom. Mm, fuck. Though I needed VAs. So I grabbed my sad empty balls and I vowed I would find them. Then, one day, Luna Mist ended up being or becoming the voice of Twilight Sparkle and Brony Drumming, the voice of Anon. Now, just a side note, I'm not a big spender. I buy things rarely and I don't attend conventions. So, I felt like this project deserved a proper funding. I spent 1.2k on it. Give or take. Kinda crazy, but I really think it paid off. Just listen. Somebody definitely beat their meat to this comic, I swear. If you're that person, vote yes, now. I also started a fundraiser for the VAs. It got $20 from one guy, so thanks to this one mysterious man who donated. Once I've acquired all the lines, including secondary characters, I got to work. Here comes the fun part. The editing process for every page, yes. First, I take the lines I need 
place them in order and pace them the way I feel is perfect. I add special effects such as echo or muffling when needed. Next, I find environmental sounds online depending on the setting such as the market, the bazaar, whatever. After that's in place, I create or find the needed sounds such as slapping, clapping, squishing, falling, drinking, etc, etc. Here are a few sounds I made myself. Smacking. I used several items for the smacking sounds. My own Ukrainian salami. Bruh. That's one. Number two. I also had my friend use his hand on his chubby belly while I was on the floor recording. The scene was weird. Sounds gay, yes, but I got some nice sound effects from that. Thank you. Uh, by the way, thanks to this mic, I could record magic. I also made what I like to call the wop, wop, wop sounds. I used spaghetti with butter, some jello, and hands with butter. <laughs> All the other sounds came from mainly YouTube and some other sites. I then pan character audio depending on their position of the comic panel. Once the page sounds great, I begin assembling the page itself. I break it into individual panels, resize the panels to fill the screen. Some panels or pages have special treatment for added effect. Some panels move when they blend with others. The last part is the most tedious one. Word synchronized appearance. <laughs> yep. I cover every single word in speech bubbles with a rectangle so that when a character talks, the words appear in time with the speech. You can imagine how long it takes to do that, holy shit. Which is why I usually listen to music when I do that, or else I'll get bored or fall asleep. That's all for the magical process. I chose to upload the dub on X videos, Derby Burrow, Newgrounds, and YouTube. Freaking Pornhub just deletes my shit. Even as a W version of the comic, what the hell? Uploading to Derpy Boro was a tedious process since I had to, oh boy. I have to, I had to process each page with the credits separately for each page. I had to reduce the file size and convert it into WebM format. Ugh. Then of course I had to work with a ton of tags on each page on Derpy Boro. Tags, tags after tags. I had to insert every single tag hand by hand for all 65 pages. It was annoying. Oh, and Derpy pranked us all on April 1st, just like every year. <laughs> it was a good one. This, one, this year is actually, they designed their site uh, to look like Pornhub. <laughs> uh, it, was a cool, it was cool looking, I actually liked it. On April 9th, 2021, everything was finished completely. Overall, the project won't be possible without every single person in it. Thank you for making many people happy, you guys. Voice actors, you, you guys rock. It's great to know that my work here will bring happiness and maybe even boners. Yep, that's what the life is about. Boners. Big thanks, especially to Luna Mist and Brony Drumming. Alright, so time for two fun facts. Did you know that there are two Alcor artists? One is responsible for writing, the other one is responsible for drawing. It's a talented duo. Number two. Apparently many people, even myself, didn't know that the whole world saw Twilight and Anon's love adventure. Yep. Back on page 25, when Twilight's ring broke, the shockwave triggered the friendship map, which projected their entire debauchery across Equestria. So, that's why on the last panel of the comic, we see not their actual selves floating up in the sky, but their projections. So Twilight's sound and peep-proofed castle barrier was futile, pointless, useless, muda muda muda, as Alcor states, the whole earth saw it. I think the entire world became very horny because of that, actually. Mm. Everyone started sucking and fucking. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you guys seen an ad about the comic? Mm. 
That's right. I have made a 7 second long ad for the comic. It was aimed towards anyone who typed the following keywords who are in these countries or and only ages 18 and up of course. 58% of the impressions had clicks, which is pretty good. And apparently the highest amount of views was from Canada. I thought, I'm disappointed in you, USA. I thought you'd be thirstier for that pony pussy. The demographic is interesting also. The ad itself linked viewers to the comic dub directory, Google Doc, where they could find other sources credits and Alcor's shop where you can buy a physical copy of Display of Passion, but there is limited amount, so you better hurry. Now, before I go, I got three things to show you. I added the dub to the comics um, Canterlot comics page, so people may now watch the dub from there. During summer of 2020, Alcor announced that he was to be in VR chat and so I decided to interview him. Yeah, I ended up interviewing them both actually, both Alcors. I even prepared a few questions. Take a listen. So clapping to the ponies, fapping with my brodies, <laughs> winking oh, with my cronies. Eating more baloney. I'm, my name isn't Pony. My, my hoof is paralyzed and on fucked me a bit too hard, so now um, I can't feel my limbs. Oh well. <laughs> ah, you can't see me. You can't see me. Yes, I can. Когда ты стал брони и что тебя привело в фэндом? Он меня привел, вот он, он много всякой странной штуки находит в интернете. Так и есть. <laughs> а потом об этом узнаю я. Что ты самое первое нашел в интернете, ты помнишь? Нет, не помню, но как бы, блин, в какой-то момент э, весь интернет же взорвался упоминаниями по ней. Uh -huh. Просто произошло, и они внезапно было везде. Кто-то их сразу полюбил, кто-то их сразу возненавидел, было много-много срачей. В какой-то момент мне стало слишком уж любопытно. Я ah. пошел, посмотрел. И мне понравилось. И потом я пошел вот его... А конвертировать. Пуп. <laughs> Помнишь самый первый эпизод, который Пуп. ты увидел? Конечно, Шоу. это был самый первый эпизод первой а. серии. Окей. Okay. А я познакомился с МЛП уже через Fallout и Quest 3, а потом начал смотреть шоу. Какое ваше самое большое достижение в, в этом фэндоме? Серьезно? По-моему, да. это вопрос, да. который надо задавать не нам, а нашим этим всяким фанатам. Все, все скажут, DOP произвело настоящий фурор, разлетелось по миллиардам сайтам, тысячи и тысячи просмотров. Такого, как это сказать, такого масштаба и качества штук в фандоме больше вроде как нету и не было. И не будет. No, he is artist. It's beautiful. And you're the writer. Yeah. Когда вы начали работать над DOP? Мы делали два с лишним, да. Вот тебе микрофон. Всегда, пожалуйста. Спасибо. Сделай его трехмерным. Здесь тоже подрисуй. Эй, я не умею. Ты делай. Мы начали работать за полгода, наверное, до того, как вышла первая страница. Мы делали наброски, переделывали их по много тысяч раз. Я помню этот ужас. Мы месяцами сидели над одной жалкой страницей, потому что я не умел рисовать буквально вообще. Он не умел писать. Ага. Почти вообще. И да, это было довольно жутко. Первые страницы делались крайне долго. Но... Но мы справились. И потом все пошло быстро. Последние страницы уже делались в довольно нормальном качестве. И за там 3-4 дня максимум одна. Какая у вас вайфу? Моя вайфу на мне, его вайфу на нем сейчас. А, окей. Справедливости ради, я люблю всех, не одинаково. Они все классные. Нет, every pony is без pony. Every pony is best pony. А, а как ты научился так хорошо рисовать? Рисовал, учился, пробовал, делал, думал, узнавал, читал. Ну, как обычно, всему учатся, не знаю, наверное, так. Ну, Я никогда не брался рисовать до там, 20 
двух лет, кажется, вообще. Какие-то большие проекты планируются? Да, мы делаем в комикс Флаттершайна там 20 с плюсом страниц. Вы можете его видеть сейчас на терпе. Я закончу. Надеемся, что, <laughs> надеемся, что комикс будет хороший. Пока вроде идет хорошо. Я бы, наверное, хотел сделать с каждой из Main Six по, как минимум маленькому комиксу. А, а. Так, ну, даже не знаю. Смотрю. Сколько вам лет? Просто Можно. интересно. Мне 29. О, 29. Мне на один меньше. А, 29 и 28. Или на два меньше. Я не уверен. Один. Я не помню. Окей. The page audio images are the last cool thing I have left for you. As for me, I'll be going now. Thanks for watching. Cause I'm having a good time.